Welcome back to my channel and as you have seen we've taken old Rusty off its rig because we were preparing it to get it ready for sandblasting. But while I was looking at it I noticed a few spots that we still probably should repair before we actually go and start to sandblast. And that's the back of the cabin and as you can see this whole area here it's pretty much rusted but this is kind of surface rust. So we're going to fix that. And I also looked on the top and then I spotted some more holes here. Small areas that need to have some repair and a bit, a bit of war situation over here. But then again, um, it was better to fix it before I was going to sandblast it than after. So let me show you a bit in detail of what we're going to do and then we'll start working. So these are the areas in the back of the cabin where we're going to work on and you can see it's pretty badly rusted but it's not rusted through so I'm going to work with an overlap panel and that's a panel like this that we'll put up and we weld it into place and you'll see that in a few minutes on how we do all this. But before doing so we're going to clean it all up, we're going to de-rust it, we're going to sandblast it a little bit and then protect it. And on this side of the cabin, uh, we have a couple of holes, not too bad, but overall it's still recoverable. So we're going to do exactly the same thing, uh, de-rust it and then put a overlap panel up, but we'll have to straighten it up a bit and clean it up. The good thing is I have a solid firm edge here. Maybe you wonder why I don't cut out all the metal and I'm using an overlap. Well, the reason is why should I cut it out? Uh, in my opinion, the metal is still good enough it still provides strength and the overlap is bringing additional strength to it. So as long as I protect it, there is no need to cut it out. Uh, typically, I do replace panels uh, if they are really bad and gone or there's nothing left, of course, and you have no choice. But in this case, there's still a lot of metal left in a fairly good condition. So I can't see the reason why I should actually cut it all out and, and remove it. But of course, we'll protect it against uh, corrosion. But that's just the way I do things. And that will be the final result of an overlap. So without any further ado, the first thing we're going to do is to sandblast this whole area, hammer it a bit in place so it's nice and smooth. Of course, remove this bolt and then uh, we'll create the panel that will go on it. But first of all, let's clean it up. So let's start and we're going to cut off this bolt and all these little pieces here to begin with. The next thing is to hammer it in place, make it all flat again. So let's start cleaning this up. And I'm going to put my mask up because it's nasty stuff. Okay, with that cleaned up, now we're going to sandblast that whole area. So now let's start sandblasting all the little areas on the rear cabin uh, where the sanding disc couldn't get to. And for that, I'm using an abrasive blaster. You've seen a previous video on this uh, tool here. Very handy for those small areas. However, uh, for blasting a complete car, it is not suitable for that purpose. But it's very great for welding areas and little spots like that. So let me hook it up so we can start. So this is, now, this is now nicely cleaned up and now I'm going to tape the edges off and in fact guys I already did it but my camera wasn't on but I'll just redo it uh, anyhow. So we're going to tape the edges off, that's where we're going to be welding and you'll see why I'm taping this off in a few seconds because I'm going to paint this whole area with this zinc based paint. And here is a uh, zinc based paint, very good paint to protect the old metal. So let's peel it off again. I'm going to let it dry a little bit and then um, we're actually uh, going to create this panel that goes on the side here 
and we'll spray the panel at the inside as well just like we sprayed this one with zinc spray we're now going to prepare the panel that needs to come on here and i'm going to measure the maximum width uh, this is about 90 millimeters and i'm measuring along the side so i'm going to go for the widest one i'm going to cut it a bit wider and then we'll uh, put it in and we mark it on the edges so this was 90 and we'll mark it on both sides Oh, these pens are really not good. Worthless. Don't buy Artline pens, guys. This is crap. So let's cut this guy, huh? So, this is the panel we just built. I'm just going to hold it in place now and see where it fits. And I think that looks quite good. And I'm going to hold it in place with these big magnets. There we go. And now I can actually trace uh, the other side. And with this pen, uh, I'm going to trace it along the edge. So I know where I need to cut it. And those very thin cutting wheels are very handy for this kind of work. So now let's uh, clean it up so we can do a proper weld. And this will be the outside so we need to clean these edges as well. That's the inside and we're going to paint that as well with the zinc spray so it is protected against corrosion. And while all this is drying, I'm going to get myself a cup of coffee and then we'll weld it into place. That's it for the coffee. Meanwhile, the panel is dry, so now we're going to fit it onto the uh, cabin and weld it into place and we're just going to try and fit it now and that looks good and we hold it in place with these big magnets that's very handy for this kind of a job and now I can align it a bit so it matches up really nice and I think this is how I want to have it the edge feels good and now we can start welding it in. There we go. I am not a professional welder, but uh, I'm having this automatic uh, welding uh, kit uh, that allows me just to set the thickness of the panels. And then it regulates the uh, feed of the wire. It regulates the power and all that. So I think that's a really great help. Now, of course, if you're a professional welder, then you're probably going to laugh with this, but I'm not. All right, that's one. That's another one. I'm just going along the edges just to weld it in place a bit, All right? So. There we go. So I'm going to keep on uh, welding little spots all along, kind of stitching, so the metal doesn't deform. Um, so. I'm going to do this. I'm not going to show you all that, but you'll see the end result. It's just welding multiple spots. So now I'm going to tag the panel in place with all these little welds here all along the edge, and then we'll fill it up just like we did on the other side. So uh, let's clamp it and weld a couple more. The 
panel in place and now I'm going to hammer it a bit so I can make sure that I almost have no gap in between the two panels. And now we're going to weld it up just like we did before. And we're going to do this with a whole bunch of small spot welds. Again, for the same reason, not to distort the panel. Now I'm doing this spaced. And I will keep filling in those spaces time after time. So let me continue doing this and then I come back to you guys uh, later when I'm all done with this. I welded all this up, not a very pretty sight I would say, but of course we still need to clean it. I wouldn't say this is the most beautiful weld that I've seen, but I am not a professional welder and to me that looks quite good and my metal is not deformed, that was the main thing. So now it's just a matter of cleaning it all up and then you'll see what the difference will be. So this is the edge we just cleaned up and uh, there's a bit more work to do to round it off a bit but so far that looks quite good. So what's left for me now is to clean it all up and then I'll show you the final end result but I think overall this will be quite all right. So. So this is the final result and now we need to some fine adjustments. Well, I think this is looking quite good after all. It was a little bit of work, but it was certainly worthwhile the effort. So folks, we have come to the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, although I had to do all the work. Nevertheless, um, I need to finish up the other side now exactly the same way as we've done this side and a little bit on the top here and there, but these are very small patches. And then uh, I'll prepare the cabin for sandblasting. That might take another week or so because next week I have to go back to work. So hope to see you soon on one of my videos. Bye bye.